So yeah, this is where we left off. And uh, another um, pretty neat thing is if you select that curve and you say control vertex, you can go in there and uh, tweak uh, the shape of that later on, as long as you don't delete the history. Okay, so now we have to take care about that side that's coming out from the, the bottom side here. So let's uh, select our curve and let's duplicate that guy, hit control D and then let's move it to the corresponding side on the bottom here. So middle mouse and V and middle mouse and snap it to there. So now let's go back to the side view and let's scale that guy down <coughs> so what I see here is that our first curve um, should be coming down a little bit more. Okay, now we bring this guy to the same level as this guy here, and then we tweak that curve here a little bit more, bring those back. Okay, and we do the same process um, as we did with the top part here. So we select um, that curve, go to object mode, select that, that curve, hover over that object and select shift select the two edges here. And again say extrude and I know that was eight divisions we had, so type in eight under the inputs. Okay, and there you go. So we have that piece here in place. Um, what we can do now is we can close this uh, thing off. Yeah, let's do that first. So let's uh, use our pen polygon tool and then face by face uh, after creating that hit G to repeat. And the other side as well. And we can close that thing up here down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we can do now is uh, close uh, this one up here. And now we can go in and say we want to insert some edge loops here. So select one, uh, this ed edge here, right click, control to add ring and split. Set the split type to multi and let's use some something like four divisions here. Should be enough. Now we go to the top view and now our um, reference cylinder comes uh, in handy. So select we have five vertices from top of four. I'm selecting five. 
And then I'm moving those five words or from the top five words down to that uh, the last vertice is almost on top of the curve from that cylinder in the background. And let's select the next five and bring those to the border of that cylinder down here and the next five zoom in on that bring it right there and two rows left somewhere about here and the last row bring that down oops let me undo that all right okay so we have that shape done and what we want to do now is yeah let's uh, go to the top view again and do the same here with uh, with those vertices here so first of all let's grab that whole row so that we can move that guy I'm now holding down middle mouse after moving that in X and then going up here using middle mouse somewhere about here and now we take this guy move it to it matches up over the cylinder in the background do the same here this guy this guy until we get to the point where um, we can't stay on that cylindrical shape so there is a point where this thing is coming out and we have to start using so if you select this here move this into position so as you can see here here it starts coming coming out okay and now let's yeah let's go to the perspective view and let's uh, yeah let's delete that edge that center edge so uh, not this one so select double double click on this edge here and say delete edge and for the rest of the shape um, we will create a lattice so let me go to the top view and let me select all of those vertices here and then go here to your animations tab and say create a lattice so let's uh, tweak the S divisions to something like I think that's I just just leave it at 2 <laughs> just leave it at 2 and then the U divisions um, some something like seven okay so with that done with that lattice created um yeah it's all already nine minutes i'm talking here and almost doing nothing um okay so again let me pause the video and we try to tweak that lattice and and the the shape of that main case in the next video